Oh, didums. Goodbye. Oh. There we go. Hello, I'm Entrissim and welcome back to Let's Play Avorion. Today, I think it's time to build a new ship. In fact, it's well overdue to build a new ship. As tempting as it is to wait for Avorion to be the uh, main element of choice, I, I do think that's going to be quite a way off. So we might as well build our new ship. And for that, we will build turrets. So, since last episode, I've done a bit of exploring. I went across half the galaxy looking for servos because we need servos to build ourselves some real guns. And I spent a very long time looking for servos. Eventually, I did find some. It took me a while. But I also found a load of fancy turret factories over here. These turret factories allow us to make some awesome turrets. And, well, basically the closer you are to the center of the galaxy, the more badass they can be. And the few over here I've got, we've got a uh, auto railgun factory is the one we're next to. But I also found a few others. Let me see, where are my notes? Um, Organite turrets. Insane lasers. Chain gun. And, oh, I claimed an asteroid here that I should probably actually use as a base. We'll do that in a minute. So, we're going to build ourselves some turrets. Now, what can we do for you? I would like to build turrets. We're going to change to rail guns of exceptional quality. I mean, why would you want common? Hmm? Of course you want these. Exceptional quality rail guns here have plus 46% damage to hull, plus 46% range, and independent targeting. It's pretty damn good. And if we increase this, this increase... Actually decreases the fire rate. Hmm. So the way this works when you're building turrets at a turret factory is that you can add more components to make them better. Problem is that some of these are bugged. It varies by factory. And actually decreasing them can sometimes be better. So if we watch this, you increase this to here, then the damage doesn't scale any beyond this. However... The fire rate goes up. I'm not sure why that is. The DPS doesn't, but the fire rate does. Hmm. You note down here that to generate heat, the buildup is plus 30 percent per shot. 4.72, don't know what that means. And dissipation is minus 10% per shot. Per, per second, sorry. 10.88. No idea exactly what that means. The build-up is plus 30% per shot, but what does the seconds have to do with it? Is that until, like, this 30 is gone? But then what about dissipation? Minus 10% per second. And what, what's this 10.88 seconds got to do with it? Hmm. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe this is until, like, overheat. And then this is till all the heat from overheat is gone. Must be it. So, we'll increase the electromagnetic charge. Yep, that's increasing the damage. The electromagnet. Right, this is definitely bugged. Notice the range. If I decrease the number, the range goes down. Uh, the range, sorry, the range goes up. That's meant to be the opposite. It's meant to be more electromagnets, the better range. So, we're going to save components and money and get ourselves a better range. Gauze rail. That just increases the damage. That's fine by me. And high pressure tubes. Again, this is bug. This is decreasing the range. So if we reduce that, we get 8.15 kilometers worth of range. Okay. So we're going to build one of these. Because the office does like 60,000. Honestly, that's not too bad. Shield DPS is a little bit low. But at the end of the day, eh, they're going to be independently firing. And they're going to have a range of 8 kilometers. And they're going to penetrate through 3 blocks. Once we get rid of the shield... They will do this damage to each block for three blocks. That's going to be useful. Pretty damn good accuracy as well. And the velocity is instant. Which is great. Because it means that they will basically never miss. Apart from that tiny inaccurate penalty. Uh, even then, it might still hit. Just not the right part. We'll build one. So, we've spent a load of stuff. And in theory, if we want to check our... Oh, I have to look up... Here in player menu. Inventory. It'll be a exceptional triple railgun. There we go. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. 
compared to, say, this exceptional Avorion, compared to the Ogonite, chain turret, the DPS is higher. But not against shields. In fact, the shield DPS is lower. You can't make exotic. Now, in theory, we could combine some railguns to make an exotic, but we wouldn't be certain what would come out the other end. That's the downside. We might do it just for, you know, I guess the lols to have a look what comes out. But generally, if you want to compare pickups, eh. I mean, this is tech 45. This is tech 46. Ooh, a mining turret, which is 46. Avorion. Great, but again, mining is terrible at the moment. I'm sure they'll buff it at some point. Let's just keep building turrets. So, I believe this is set up, and we're just going to... That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We've got thirty-six of them. We can actually get another one. We've got a spare gauze rail. And you know what? Let's do that. There we go. You can't actually reduce the gauze rail to one, so that'll be it for now. I've actually got a load of spare components. I definitely want to keep the spare servos, because my god, it's hard to find servos. But we should now have... Oh god, we're not pushing away. There we go. We should now have a load of interesting... Oh, it's so sluggish. Weapons. Uh, if we open the... Menu. do 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 player menu 37 triple railgun turrets all of which will independently target by the way that's an important fact at 8 kilometers so we can just stick 8 kilometers away in our new ship I'm not going to put them on this ship they're going to go on the new ship now I wonder with our systems how many turrets we could get so each of you are basically plus 5, plus 5. So that's 20. Um, 26. We could have about 36 turrets. Yeah, like we could build more or we could just, you know, collapse the ones we've already got into exotic railguns. I don't think that would be particularly beneficial. We might as well do it for science at some point. Hmm. Do you want to do it for science? We should probably do it for science. Right, I hope there's a dock down there at that little red light. Roxanne, now you don't have to put on your red light. Nope, it is not a dock. I feel misled. Also, Wormhole. This is actually the home base for this faction. Ooh, actually, weren't we meant to be asking people about joining us in the final fight? Will assist us in destroying the Zotan Wormhole Guardian. The what? The Zotan Mothership at the center of the galaxy. And you want to destroy it? Exactly. How? I'll open a wormhole that allows you to break through. How do you know this is going to work? This isn't some kind of suicide mission, or even a trick. You will have to trust me. This is none of our business. Why exactly should we trust you, or help you? Loot? No, no, the loot's mine. Revenge? Maybe. It's only a matter of time before they arrive here. This is your chance to be the saviors of the galaxy. Here we are, born to be kings. We are the saviors of the galaxy. Awesome. They agreed. Sweet, let's have a look. Is that in my, like, diplomacy? Oh, no, it would be in my missions. One, ooh. To find out, you should ask at the faction headquarters if they will assist you. One ship from the Baaj. Now, they are pretty advanced as a faction near the center of the galaxy, so... Their ship's going to be pretty decent. Not sure if it'll be able to beat a mothership of the Zotan, but hey-ho, we'll try. Hello. I would like to look at your bulletin board. Nope, I don't care about that. I'd like to research. And we're going to use this as a test. All of these railguns have exactly the same stats. And we got an absolutely terrible railgun. That is absolutely awful. Yeah, that's that's bad. The hull penetration is 12 blocks, so it will go entirely through a ship. <sighs> However, most AI ships don't actually need that. Like, 
they tend to be those one stick blocks, so that's pretty terrible. Yeah, goodbye. Ooh, while we're here, actually. Now, I've done a lot of combining. I combined a load of stuff together to get a load of legendaries and some exotics. There were a lot of things to combine. I'm definitely doing that off screen. This is. It takes a while, it's tedious. But if we combine these, we get an exceptional technology fragment. Okay, so that's the way to go. So by combining the Zotan technology fragments, we can get an exceptional. Then we make that into an exotic. And then do we need to make it into like a rare or something? A legendary? I'm not sure. But we'll need to harvest these, so we need to kill a lot of Zotan ships. Hey, that's maybe we're going to get our, like, Avorin from. Just kill the Zotan ships. Get Avorin from them. I could put these together right now and get a 6% chance of getting something out. 4% chance of getting nothing, though, so... I won't. However, we do have some spare legendaries. And I believe, if you combine legendaries, we've got two, like, mining ones. And a velocity bypass. I really don't care about those. In fact, the generator upgrade's pretty terrible. It's actually not that terrible. It's just, eh, it's okay. Recharge rate 50%, generated energy plus 118%. Okay, so let's put these in and research. And we got the next legendary uh, key that we don't actually need because somehow we got into the center of the galaxy without using them. But hey, it's a plus five to all turrets, so, you know, I'll have it. That's pretty sweet. Do, 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 do. Okay. We need to start building ourselves a spaceship. I think this is a good place to build it as any. And I think I've got enough stuff. I'm a little bit concerned about my Organite, but we should be okay. So, going to exit into our drone. Gonna fly, go fly away. Cause I could use some exotic. Or on the shore near far Bombay. It's perfect for an organite spaceship, they say. So found a ship, come on, just found a way. Okay, so my main aim here is to try and get a massive battleship going on. So we've got the HMS Greco. And let's get going. This is all post commentary now, uh, in 10 times speed, because this took me quite a while to build. I had like five and a half hours of footage for this, and then probably another four hours that I didn't record. This took a while. So we're going to start off with effectively the hyperspace core, because I know what I want for the hyperspace core. I want about 20 seconds of jump, followed by a whole ton of energy to back that up with. We're probably going to aim for something in the region of a quarter of a terawatt, which, you know, for comparison, like a nuclear power station will be in the range of a few gigawatts. Uh, we're going to back this up by a ton of shield. I'm aiming for a million, but I'm ended up cutting it down to about half a million just because of the size required. We can always buff it from half a million to a million using a, uh, a card in post by just... The, the cards in the game are pretty good. You want a high shield? Just add a shield card. Uh, chucking on some, like, power on the back just to hold, the, like, a power... Like a battery. A battery. That's what I was going for. The wood battery. Um, just because we need to hold quite a lot of that power. Turns out, you need a big battery. Uh, just rearranging the sort of the design at the moment. Um you kind of end up shaping a little bit as you go because adding armor around it obviously armor weighs a lot armor is the heaviest item so adding armor afterwards you kind of want it to hug the hull as much as possible you don't want to have to have lots of fixed on your space internally and now i'm going to play around with hangers notice that hangers actually show like they actually you can see through a hanger there is nothing on the back of a hanger so i'm playing around with different back materials at the moment and the, uh, the glow I went for is because I wanted the hanger to give a nice glow. But look at that, it is ridiculously bright. So I ended up just tanking the blow glow and just being like, you know what, no glow for you. No glow at all. I think I ended up in the end using something like a, a titanium background or something. Just something simple. Uh, didn't look too horrible. Uh, I also, I'm putting in a cargo bay down the bottom because I do want this, in addition to being a battleship, to also be my all-around ship. It is annoying to switch between them and the AI is pretty terrible. So putting in a cargo bay did actually take up quite a lot of room in the end, actually. The cargo bay took quite a lot of room, just being able to fill all the stuff in that we had in our old ship, which admittedly has a giant baby attached to the bottom, effectively. 
Um, also, putting more hangers in the bottom here. I want to kind of drop hangers because it looks awesome when you drop fighters and they fly out, rather than just flying out the side. And because, well, hangers, they have to have clear space outside them, which means that they are somewhat vulnerable to enemy fire. So having them on the bottom of my ship, which I tend to have away from the enemy, I tend to be front and a little bit top towards the enemy. So it kind of protects them a little better. At this point, I actually realized that we were taking damage. So I did a quick tour round of all the things nearby. Um, because, yeah, we were taking damage because we had no crew. whoop de doo uh, here we go, just adding a load of rear firing, thr well, front firing thrusters and a few other thrusters. You see the giant blocks there trying to keep us stable. And uh, going around the front and adding similar. Um, because of the way thrusters work, you kind of want them at the front, back. You want them at the edges of your ship. I mean, if you're going to get pitch, you want them front and back. If you want them to do roll, you want them left and right, as far as possible. Uh, which actually ends up with us having to have a very interesting design for the front that I didn't really intend. Um, you'll see that in a minute. Uh, we're actually getting to the stage now where we're doing some of the armor design. This is where I'm sort of beginning to plan out exactly how this is going to look. I had a vague idea that I wanted the kind of wedge shape going on, a bit like we had previously. Uh, but here you can see we're actually going a lot more heavy on the armor. Bear in mind that armor is one of the most heavy items in the ship design, and it will severely impact performance, which isn't great. Uh, I'm going to end up using mostly titanium for this. Well, not titanium, but trinium, because it is the lightest. Uh, organite is going to be used in places. It weighs twice as much as trinium, but it also has twice as much durability, uh, just because I want something to put turrets on. Obviously, turrets can only put on something that uh, is the right material or better than them. With the engines at the back, I really don't like the look of the organite engines. They're, well, they're orange, and... That doesn't mean high-tech to me, that means like an iron blast furnace or something boring. So, just trying to do the shaping correctly to make them look okay. In the end, I was kind of okay with the look, this kind of weird, almost circular look to the engine. But I'm not entirely convinced by it. The problem is, I wanted to make them look a little bit better. So, I came up with a cunning plan that using a glow block, you can make them bright. But if you then choose to paint the glow block, they don't end up blinding you. So by picking a nice sort of blue, maybe a kind of more grayish blue, they actually don't end up too bright. I know a lot of people complained about that in my videos, that if we've got the tail and the ship visible, uh, you are being blinded by engine. This kind of solves that problem for me, and it looks kind of badass. And allowing us to also use organite engines. whoop de doo uh, The air armor here is actually fairly heavy. At this point, I'm just going to start chopping through because it takes me a very long time to do the armor. I wanted to kind of have these little vents visible for my uh, thrusters because I really like the idea of the thruster plumes as you turn. It looks really cool. It's not the most efficient in terms of armor, but hey, I uh, honestly the most efficient is just to not wear armor. It weighs too much, it detracts from your ship, it takes resources. And you can see here that we're starting to build up this kind of wedge shape. I get to the front, I'm like, what do I do with the front? That's not much thruster. That's actually going to really impact the performance. What do I do? Do I go over like a split hull? I don't know. In the end, I end up flaring out the sides here a little bit, just because I kind of liked the idea of it, and I didn't want to end up with such a sheer side. So I end up taking the thrusters out quite far, and I'm kind of pleased with that view. At the front, you can see we've got this very big kind of wedge, which actually lives into the final design, because I need to get a lot of thruster in there. But I think we're done. And here we have it, the finished art, well, sort of finished. Uh, it needs a little bit of work on the front, it needs colouring, like the hull isn't exactly the right colour yet in places. But it's pretty much ready for field trials. And if you check, I have all 32 of our lovely railguns situated all across the upper hull. Uh, part of the reason I don't have them along the lower hull is that I intend to not really show the lower hull to people. The lower hull's actually made out of hull, not armour. The to, you know, reduce the weight, because this thing weighs a lot. Uh it's also kind of difficult to travel around. Yeah, Power roll. I'm totally going to hit something while I do that. I shouldn't do that. It has fighter bays. It has armor. It has there's a cargo bay, in fact, down there. That's the cargo bay. I haven't had a chance to really fully flesh out yet. It's a little bit obvious. And in fact, this bit on the front here, this flat area where you've got the little dimples and stuff, this is cargo bay as well. I needed more cargo bay. In fact, I still don't have enough cargo bay. I can't actually get all the contents of our ship into here. Hmm. Nonetheless, it's still a pretty damn impressive vessel. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, that is a that's a wondrous shot right there. Absolutely wondrous. In fact, I'm gonna take that, maybe like turn it into the screenshot. That's beautiful. 
So, I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's take it out for some field trials. Um, I think we're being followed. You following? No. Order. Escort me. Right. And then we need to find some enemies. So... Unknown mass sector. Seems decent enough. Any known, like, enemy areas? Not really. Okay, let's try and find ourselves some enemies. In terms of cards, we have... Basically all of our legendaries, along with exotic radar and shield booster. I really want to put the hyperspace in, but I just don't have room. It's not crawling with enemies. Wait. It is crawling with enemies. We have Zotan. Okay, feel free to uh, escort me. We're going to start ourselves a fight. Come here. Oh, oh, wait, wait. There's one here. I need to slow down. In fact, I actually do slow down pretty nicely. If I point forwards... Okay, let's go get him. In theory, we have quite a long range in our railguns. Oh, it was a kill! One shot kill! Okay, feel free to auto fire when ready. Present yourselves. Fire at will! What's the closest enemy? Too far away, okay. Oh, actually, this enemy's getting within range. Let's do this. They take a while to turn, but there we go. I'm gonna stop them overheating, I'm gonna manually just disable them for a sec. There we go! Oh, it's beautiful. These things crush through hull. Like a hot knife through butter. They're a little bit worse against shields, but hey ho. I mean, you could put plasmas on, but the problem is plasmas don't really have the range. Oh, another one bites the dust. The firepower for this thing is insane. I need to learn to slow down by not actually turning, because uh, we do actually slow down quite nicely, but as soon as we start turning, not so good. Okay, let's bring our... Whoa! Look out! Oh! Alright, let's go grab ourselves some stuff. Oh! Hello, enemy! Present arms! Fire at will! Another target dead. Oh no, a large fleet of enemy warships warped in. That's terrible. Whatever will we do? Okay, large fleet of enemy warships. Oh my god, they're actually quite a large fleet of enemy warships. Fire at will. Got a few overheats, so I'm gonna. Oh, brutal! Okay, zoom out. Let's go to town. Yeah, that's miles away. Oh, actually, no, you got the kill. Well done. Getting a few overheats there. Oh, no. Our allied ship is having some issues. Get 
Get away! Get away, Friar! Get away! Escort me! Get over here, you idiot! I forgot they can't boost. Otherwise, we'd be fine. Friar! Oh, God. I'm glad I armored it. Never really had to use its armor until now. Okay, you idiot. Come here. Oh, you took a bit of beating there. But your armor did well. Guard this position. We're gonna get revenge. You know what? We're gonna get manual revenge. Who's the nearest ship? Wait for them to turn green. Oh! Is that a kill? No, it wasn't a kill shot. No, it was a kill shot. Okay. You. Wait for it to line up perfectly. Wasn't a kill. Almost a kill. There we go. Next. Kill. Next. Kill. I feel like I'm, like, got a shotgun. I'm on the range. It's like, cool. We should be in range for some of our... The problem is our ship's so long, we're not in range for some of our weapons. Gently do it. There we go. Next. Can't tell where you are. Oh, you're up there. Hi. Some of them are out of range. There we go. And... Get in range. Fire! Get in range. Fire! And let's go back to some auto-fire. I don't know why auto-fire guns are always so much worse than normal fire guns, because they kind of suck. Apart from then, they did really well there. Oh, that beauty. This this craft is crazy good. I'm loving it. I don't know why you're following me. I specifically told you to stay still, but then again, you never do what you're told, so... You know what you can do? Just salvage. Salvage anything and everything in the sector. Are you actually gonna- you're not gonna, are you? You're gonna just follow me forever. Oh dear. I really want you to just salvage. It's the only reason I brought you with me rather than just making you stay at home. I feel a little bit OP in a good way. In a very good way. Ah, oh, this is going to be glorious. No one will stand before my wrath. Oh, look, wreckage. For now, though, I've been Enter Elysium. If you've liked, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know your thoughts on the new HMS Grico class. I don't know what we call this, a battle cruiser, probably? Ah, uh, but a battle cruiser generally is like a more... Lightly armored battleship. This thing's heavily armored. It's got a million shields. With the upgrade card. It's only got half a million shields normally. But I, I still think that this is probably going to be a... It's going to be a battleship. I mean, by the standard of the game, it's probably a dreadnought. But I think we can make bigger. I think we probably will make bigger when we've got enough of Orion. What we need to do is we need to send someone out on salvaging, and that's maybe a job for some fighters, because we don't actually have fighters yet. This is just a test of our main railgun armament. My god, they are awesome. Ah, oh, like, subscribe! Let me know that stuff down below, and until next time, stay shiny.